चलिए आज पढ़ते हैं माई ओन ट्रू फैमिली बाई टेड ह्यूज टेड ह्यूज इज वन ऑफ द समन पोएट्स एंड ही इज कंसिडर टूडे इज वन ऑफ द पायनियर्स ऑफ अर्ली इको क्रिटिक राइटिंग राइट सो हीज राइटिंग डीलिंग विथ द नेचर एंड ऑल्सो टू सम एक्सटेंट इन दिस राइटिंग्स लाइक माई ओन ट्रू फैमिली टेड ह्यूज इज ट्राइंग टू अवेक the people that nature should be preserved and there must be a sustainable use of nature so the physicality of nature is expressed in the poems like my true my own true family today we we'll discuss how the poem is important from eco feminism eco criticism and the shamanism also so let us come to the poem but before that let us have the introduction and let me inform that this poem is in the syllabus of 10th standard of west bengal board so all the students please 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 uh watch the video carefully try to understand each and every line and share the video with your friends and do like and subscribe the channel so let me start with the introduction edward james ted huge so the full name of ted huge is edward James Ted Hughes was one 20th century writer and he was born in 19, uh, 1930 that means he was a person who just had the experience of the world during the uh, or the post world war first and second so the post world wars had the recent impacts in the civilization and it destroyed not only the human civilization human wealth human resources but at the same time the world wars had its impact on the nature also so ted huge expressed all these concerns in his writings he was one english poet and he was the poet laureate of great great britain from 1984 and some of his famous works are both the letters the hawk in the rain and the tales from obit the hawk is one of my favorite uh, piece of work i can say in this poem ted huge describes the magical experience of a young child so the narrator in this poem the speaker poet in this poem is speaking in the disguise of a child the child who enters in a forest in the oak wood by chance and comes across the nature the oak community the community of the oak trees as if they are the primitive tribes and they interacted with the child they tried to convince the child that you should not use nature abundantly you must use the physicality of the nature sustainable in a sustainable way right and the child in an oak wood indicates that human beings and trees should thrive as a single family so the entire nature is a family and i times and again say the human with time disassociating this associating itself with nature so if human are going to be disconnected with nature the more the human would suffer with time and that is happening today now the association of human with nature is the natural thing that we can hope for now even today if you say someone animal he would file a case against you that you dishonored the person but it is not something of dishonor because we are that much civilized today that being called by someone an animal we take it as a disrepute as the violation of the dignity so all these things are very important and we need to understand that we are also the part of the entire nature 
and we are also animals so we should not forget all these things right the qualifications the degrees the educational uh, we can say qualities these are the added values that we create for ourselves but to one cow to one other animal like dog we are just another animal right so we have our own self made prides and for that we suffer right the tribe they are more connected with nature and depression is less in those natural areas but you would find as ts eliot in his westland said the more and more depressed people in the urban areas because they have the need for more and more they are lustful people they have the greed but the tribal people they just go for the essence they just go for what they need right they are not as greedy as the town people urban people so they are not that much depressed that we are we even get depressed over the new car that we desire to have right okay so uh, forget all these things we will discuss on eco criticism all these issues now come to the text a child is narrating the story so come to the first line once i crept in an oak wood so that was a time that was an incident when i crept what is the meaning of crept crept is the past tense past a uh, participle of creep now the meaning of creep is moving slowly so he was stepping slowly to an oak wood why he stepped into an oak wood the reason is he was looking for he was searching for a stag what is the meaning of a stag stag is the small male deer so he was following a male small deer and by that he entered in an oak wood i met an old woman there and in the oak wood the narrator met one old woman and the woman all nobly stick and drag what is the meaning of nobly nobly simply means uh, having the bulge stick that means the stick that the woman was holding was not straight it had some bulges it had some lumps right and rag and the dress the cloth of the old woman was old and also damaged so how we can assume the appearance by these two adjectives these two qualities nobly and the noun rag here okay okay now rag is used as noun in this sentence so nobly stick the adjective nobly nobly means simply having lump or bulge in the stick that means the stick is not straight and also the cloth that the woman was wearing that was old and damaged so a simple village vintage okay poor woman with old clothes and a stick in hand and the stick is not straight all right so a typical witch type of look that the woman is having the bigger type of look okay she said now the woman is saying i have your secret here inside my little bag that means i have something that is your secret now here your is a umbrella communal term now your means here the civilized people now as if the old woman is nature herself now the mother nature as if the in the disguise of an old woman came to the little boy and saying that hey people hey civilized people i have your own secrets in my little bag i know what you are doing i am aware about what you are doing but i am not replying at this moment whenever i would speak back when i would revolt back you people would not exist in this world so as if mother nature came to face came to counter in front of the little child and saying that i have your secret here inside my little bag then she began to crackle then she began to make some 
her sound some uh we can say unbearable sound that is crackle that is the sound of some animal right sound of some bird particularly which are not sweet crackle okay the her sound so the woman started laughing in her sound so crackle means the laugh of the uh, woman old woman and i began to quack quack means earthquake you can remember so quack simply means tremble so i began to tremble the lady began to crackle cackle and the little child began to quack so the woman is laughing and the little child is trembling in fear because uh, the woman seeming not to be a civilized seeming not to be a generous kind of person right she opened up her little bag now she is doing what she she is opening the little bag and i came twice awake and as if the narrator the little child became twice awake now this is very significant why is twice awake now the narrator was awake he was not sleeping so that was his first knowledge first layer of knowledge he is taught he is trained by the civilized people in his school by the teachers trainers that is the first development of his knowledge that is his first awakeness he was awaken the sack for the second time when the woman opened the bag that means it is the renesa it is the rebirth of knowledge for the child and what he is learning why he 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 got awakened right for the second time we would know in the next line when the child became came for the second time awake he was surrounded by a staring tribe and he was tied to a stake so as if now the victim is not nature but now the victim is the child now i would not use the term victim here there is nothing called victim but i would use the term that controlling factor right now as the trees you if if notice that the trees do not have their own voice the trees never respond to the cruelty that we do to them as if they are also tired right they do, do not have their own response the instant uh, response out of the stimuli we give to them right out of the cruelty that we harm we do to the nature as if nature is silent nature has no control and the controlling body is human who always penetrate the nature right now just the vice versa is happening the child the representative of human is now tired and nature is now in control in command and a staring tribe is saying something let us see what to the child they said that means the controlling body the nature the oak trees right and the oak trees are called a tribe who are staring who are looking straight eye to eye to the child and the tribe is saying we are the oak trees that we are the nature we are the oak trees and your own true family we are not stranger we are not someone who is alien but we are the part of your family we are your family members so we are not someone to be afraid of but yes we are your family members now why you are tired simply because you need to feel how we feel when you cut us right when you destroy the nature when you cut the trees how we feel you need to understand that therefore you are tired all right we are chopped down that means the trees are cut down right we are torn up you do not blink an eye and you do not think twice before you cut us now you need to feel the same pain you need to feel how to be controlless how to be controlled by someone else right unless you make a promise now now you are going to die now if you don't make a promise you need to feel what 
we are failing for years for centuries now don't please don't take the child as a child only the child is the representative of the human right human civilization now human civilization is challenged that if we respond if we try to give reply back to you then you would have no control of yourselves right now the oak trees are asking for a promise that please make a promise otherwise you would die because just you chop us down just like you cut us uh, cut us down we would do the same to you we would kill you whenever you see an oak tree felled swear now you will plant two now the oak trees are asking the child to plant two trees when one tree is cut off right this is simple and logical argument right that if you cut one tree please plant two right okay unless you swear the black oak bark will wrinkle over you now the oak trees are saying that if you don't promise if you don't swear the black oak bark will wrinkle over you you would become the part of our community you would become the oak tree and then you would feel how painful it is to be cut down by human right so it is nothing but a simple a slight warning from the nature we know that in the covid time nature gave us a little slight warning but we are so stupid that we are repeating our bad deeds again right and the root you among the oaks where you were born but never grew right and what would happen and after that when the bark the bark of the oak tree will wrinkle over you you would be rooted among the oaks you would be a part of our community you would also be a oak tree an oak tree and you would born you where you born but never grew right now here the word grew is used what can be the possible meaning of the word grew grew can be both physically and both mentally intellectually right all right now come to the last part last two lines you can see how beautiful the image is the child is going into the forest following the stag the little deer this was my dream beneath the boughs the dream that altered me actually the child was not controlled by the oak trees by the nature but it was a dream right under the oak trees and when the child woke up he was completely altered the dream altered the child he is now really once again awakened right so it is the second time he is awakened the twice awake that i'm previously used right when i came out of the oak wood back to human company my work was the work of a human child but my heart was a tree now as if the child is not a human only but he is also the part of the oak community the part of the nature now his heart is connected with nature but he is also a human that that is what i was trying to say in the beginning that human should be connected with nature human should never think that they are separated entities they are not a part of nature right that is a folly so we should always think that we are animals we are also the part of nature and we should preserve the nature and use the nature with a sustainable plan right so this is all about this poem this is a beautiful poem one of my favorite poems right thank you so much for watching this video please do subscribe that is what uh, motivate motivates us right to make new learning lectures for you okay wishing you a bright future do subscribe like the video share with your friends and let me know how you understood the poem if i should discuss question answers for you okay so what is your problem write down in the comment box thank you so much my name is avila mukhopadhyay 
meet you in the next video bye bye wishing you a bright future thank you